I remember in first grade, I knew that I had a connection to art. Newark, where I lived, was a blue collar city. You know, you kind of had to survive in a way. You were always challenged. You know, I felt like Newark was my place. And so I ended up going to Newark School of Fine Art. One of the professors was a famous teacher. His name was Samuel Breacher. He exhibited with Picasso, George Rawl, Toulouse-Lautrec at the San Francisco Museum in 1940. Mr. Breacher, Sam was his first name. He always took in a couple students, you know, that he thought had promise, and I was lucky. I was with him his last year in Newark before he retired. So I would go to his studio and take in his mail or send him letters, and he would always leave a painting out for me to see. When I'd walk through the door, and it was breathtaking. It's like, oh my God. That's when I really was so inspired to paint. In my mind, I was going to be the famous painter that he was. I had that great young energy. I would drive to the Guggenheim or the Metropolitan and sometimes illegally park and run up the stairs and look at my favorite paintings. And I felt that, that connection to me. That's what I'm going to be. This is my world. You know, I'm, I'm studying now. I'm on my way. I was patient though. You know, I knew and I had learned that it's going to take a long, long time. And the reality was that I needed to, you know, to find something. I decided I would go back to school and get an art teaching certification and teach. And so I did this for 30 years. Going to to paint right after I taught, thinking about it all the time, but holding back. I said, my time will come, my time will come. I left teaching and I, it was just like the best thing that ever could ever happen to me. I came out and I started working and my friends came and modeled for me and I began to paint the themes that I always thought about. till till now, where, where I'm painting every day, and, and this is what I think about. Some paintings take a few weeks, some paintings take six months or eight months and whatever it takes I feel so I know I have to keep on working on it till I and and when it's done it's it's not like you you put the last dot uh, on the end of a sentence you feel it it's something you feel I'm going to show you some paintings that I've already finished. I titled this painting Unwanted. It's a story of a man that feels racism as he you know, sits at a restaurant and orders his food. 
So in order to embellish that feeling, I, I have this figure in contrast. These two figures are, you know, against him. He is a friend of mine, and he told me a personal story. His story was that he pulled out of a mall, and because he had a Mercedes, the police identified him, you know, said, you, you did something wrong in the mall. He was humiliated. He was horrified, and, and it was traumatic for him to have experienced that. Clearly, this person uh, is grieving a loss, and this figure has her arm around her shoulder and against her other arm, comforting her as best that she can. Every day I get up, excited to get up, dreaming the night before about what I was gonna work on. I feel a surge of energy and my heart beats faster when I see my work and it makes me so happy.